Awesome, so we're gonna do the Romanian deadlift. Now, two things I want you to remember before you pick up the bar is when you're holding the bar, I want your elbows fully locked. So like you're doing a tricep push down, fully locked, and then you also wanna push them to the floor, okay? So locked elbows, pushing my shoulders to the floor, and then I want to imagine that I'm breaking the bar. So I'm imagining this bar as a stick that I'm breaking. And why we do that is because if I don't imagine it's a stick and breaking, the bar will fall away from my body, which will put too much pressure on my lower back, okay? So elbows locked, push those shoulders towards the floor, break the bar, and then we're basically just trying to trace our legs, okay? So I'll show you what that looks like. Elbows locked, push my shoulders down to the floor, break the bar, then I take it off. And you'll notice my shoulders don't move. My hips move, but not my shoulders. And one sec. So we're doing that, and then what we also want to do is feet want to be shoulder width apart. And what I'm imagining is there's a piece of paper underneath my feet. I'm pushing my feet onto the piece of paper, and I'm imagining I'm trying to create a tear down the middle of the newspaper. That's called spreading the floor. So how this looks, if you look at my knees, this is not spreading the floor, this is spreading the floor, okay? And I'm pushing my big toe hard into the floor. So I push my big toe hard into the floor and I spread the floor, okay? And then basically as you're going down, you're doing that movement. You're spreading the floor and your feet are going like that, okay? Um, so then you bring it all together, elbows locked, shoulders down towards the floor, break the bar. Those are the first three um, cues. And then what your legs are doing is you're just pushing your big toe hard into the ground and you're spreading the floor. Okay, so there's five cues there. You've got elbows locked, shoulders down, break the bar, and then you've got big toe into the ground, spread the floor. So just those five cues, and then it looks like this. Elbows locked. Take a step back. And then I'll just quickly talk about breathing. So with your breathing, you want to just breathe consistently. Um, if you're doing, say, like a high rep set, if you're doing a really heavy and high rep set, what I like to do is I like to hold my breath for the first four. So I'll breathe in, tongue to the roof of my mouth. I'll pump out four, and I'll get my breath at the top. And then I'll hold my breath again for three. And then I might do two, hold breath, and then I might do one, hold breath, one and hold breath, one and hold breath till my form fails. That's, that's what you can do. If you want to play it safe though, you're right to just tense your core as if someone's going to punch you in the stomach. Hold that tension while you can breathe and just bang out 10 easy reps with the same amount of tension and sort of breathing whenever you want to. If you're doing an all out to failure set, use that breathing method that I spoke about at the start, where you hold your breath for say four reps, get it back and then you break the set down into three and then twos and then ones um, and then that's how I would Romanian deadlift.